my name is uh, Ola Dural, and I'm teacher in uh, Ørestad Gymnasium, and I teach social science, uh, business, economics, and geography. And I'm responsible for implementing ICT pedagogics in our school, and also leader of the competence center of ICT. Uh, my, my school is 100% digital for more years. Uh, we only use uh, digital materials. Uh, we have no books at school. Uh, we organize everything using Google Sites and Google Drive in the school. In the sites we have the curriculum, lesson plans and everything, things like that. And in Google Drive we collect all materials, including um, PDF files, uh, podcasts, flip classroom files and so on. And we had a project about iTunes U years ago. We really uh, want to learn the students to explore, exchange and express knowledge. Uh, so to say, we want to teach them to uh, be citizens in the late modern society. And uh, it's important that they can find information and communicate. Uh, we use uh, Google uh, Sites and Google Drive in this sense so in the classrooms, you often see the stu students look at sites to see what are we doing in the lessons. And many students do different things. So the teachers have to prepare uh, things for maybe low level, mid level and, and high level. And uh, be sure that the students can take what they are doing into other spaces. We have the classrooms and we have open spaces. And uh, the Google is where they collect all information. We also use uh, flipped classrooms because um, the student uh, can uh, see this video and prepare for the lesson at home so we can focus on what we are doing in the classroom. Sometimes we let the students do the flipped videos as well and collect them so the students can use the videos uh, when they are preparing for exams. It's very important for us that the students can do anything any time, anywhere. Uh, in, in general, I think uh, using IT is going pretty good um, because most students, they like to read digital materials. Uh, from time to time I use papers, but they never take their papers. They want it uh, digital. Um, and in this sense, they have their books uh, all the time uh, with them so they can read uh, in buses and trains and everything. And they use quite a lot the shared documents in the classroom. And I think these three points are very positive. Of course, we have challenges as well, because uh, the students' digital behavior is not that we normally would like them to have it. So we try to learn them uh, this digital behavior. Uh, so it will be better than when they come from primary. Then we have the problem about the social platforms. Uh, Facebook, uh, Messenger, Twitter, that they would like to use sometimes in the lessons. And also gaming, uh, when the teacher is not behind the computer and visiting websites that are not relevant. Um, but we think we have to learn the students this digital behavior because in the future they have to be digital, I think. We are never going back again, I think, to 100% paper. Uh, we have books in the future as digital books. So that's very important for us that we give them this competen these competences. For us, uh, digital media is uh, a natural tool in teaching and uh, it's important that the students learn to collaborate because in the future, in their future life, in the modern uh, society, they have to do that. That's very important.